What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a Gallade team, also featuring Sarina. Sarina is something I really like, because it has the ability Queenly Majesty, which blocks all priority on the opposite side of the field, just like Farigarath. This team is something I found on the Pokesports Discord server, posted by user Omicron. Thank you Omicron for this team, it looks super sick. The basic idea is Hatterene and Didi, set up Trick Room, go to town with Psy spamming. But the main things that stop that, you've got answers for. Gallade here will take down any dark type you can think of with this massively powerful Sacred Sword. And if they start Snarl spamming, or I guess Struggle Bug spamming, you've got King Gambit to swap in and get a huge boost off of. It also has a Choice Specs Torkoal, which I haven't previously used Choice Specs on Torkoal. This damage can be pretty insane. And then of course, featuring Sarina to block priority for when Psychic Terrain goes down, which you'll see does happen to me a couple times. But alright, this team looks super cool and I'm ready to get started. Let's jump into a few battles. Alright, here we are with a the match. They've got Roaring Moon, Amoongus, Incineroar, Golden Go, Water Ogre Pond, and Raging Bolt. Hatterene and Torkoal seem to go crazy here. The only thing I would really be worried about stopping Psy Spam is, well, they're two Dark types. Fortunately, we have Gallade for that. I don't see any way to remove Terrain. Amoongus could be a little bit annoying, but I think we can manage that since Hatterene is immune to Spore anyway. So I think Indeedee Hatterene is perfectly fine, but we need Gallade. We could go with King Gambit due to their Incineroar, I don't know if that's the exact play. No, King Gambit's really good. King Gambit is really good here. I was gonna go Torkoal, but I think King Gambit might actually be better. This doesn't look like much of a match for Sarina. The only great value it would have is walling the Water Pond. But it can't hit a Golden Go. So I would rather have one of the things that can hit that. Alright, so I'm going to lock that in. Here we go. Hoping I can show this off pretty well. I really want to use Gallade. I have not actually used Gallade myself yet in like... Gosh, ever? Even back in Sword and Shield, I don't think I ever had a Gallade team that I used. So this should be fun. Even if it's not optimal, I'm gonna want to bring him out and start throwing swords. Okay, it's a Golden Go and Water Ogre Pond lead. This makes sense. They understand what's coming. They know it's just gonna be Psy Spam. I could pretty easily Terastalize Hatterene, get up the Trick Room, and just follow me away any water shots. So I don't see why not just do it. <laughs> I like to play hard trick room as just turn your brain off and click the right button. So hopefully the right button is the right button. Terra Fire Hatterene. No mystical fire on this, but maybe they'll think I do and be scared. Okay, no protects turn one, good, they know not to do that. Just an Ivy Cudgel. Indeed he eats. And a nasty plot from Golden Go. Okay, pretty standard play. I can live with that. Next you're gonna what? Double protect? I could bring in King Gambit now. Gallade doesn't actually touch Golden Go. But I think maybe, yeah, I'll just bring King Gambit in now. Reading the double protect and just expanding force. In case you don't, then you're gonna take a bunch of damage. Sure, maybe if you terastalize the Ogre Pond, both of you can live this, but... Okay. And they are doing that. They're not just gonna protect? Okay. Just putting on the mask, turn two. Alrighty. Embody your aspect. Get that special defense boost. You're gonna need it. Expanding force! 
does well over half to Ogre Pond and about a third to Golden Go. Okay. Golden Go just uses Vacant Rain. Wow! Oh, that's a crit on King Gambit. Yeah, that makes more sense. And on Hatterene! You just double crit us? And we still ate. And Hatterene is down. Okay, that is fine. You can no longer terrestrialize that Golden Go, and we've got King Gambit in. And you've got leftovers on your Golden Go. I could see a Protect coming out. I'm gonna go into Gallade. Do I continue to play aggressive? And go for a Swords Dance here, predicting the Golden Go Protect. Um, they could also go for a follow me with their Ogre Pond. But I think I'm going to be greedy. Uh, if we're on terrain, it looks like Psycho Cut is stronger than Sacred Sword. 70 times 1.3, 7 times 3 is 21, 91. Yeah, just barely. Yeah, I'm going to greed. Why not? Why not? If you can go ahead and get double crits with your Make It Rains, then something has to go right for me now. That's the way the world works. Okay. They did not protect either. That's interesting. But I took out Ogre Pond. Finally. They are playing extremely aggressive. And they just go for a make it rain. And King Gambit goes down? Oh no. That is not good. <laughs> I got too greedy and they punished me for it. Sometimes you have to read the way your opponent's playing. He's been playing very aggressively, not protecting at all. I should have seen that. I should have known that that's what was going to happen. Now I don't see any reason for them not to just click make it rain again. Maybe a crit psycho cut can take out that golden go. That is really our best bet. Oh, it would have done it. But it wouldn't have mattered. Glade goes down. All right. GG, sir. You you have my number. All right. Here we've got a match against a Cresselia. Annihilate. Whimsicott. Urshifu. Indeedy and Fluttermane. Uh, they likely have beat up on their Whimsicott to power up the Annihilate. That's a little bit scary, but nothing an Indeedy lead can't just redirect. Plus, Rocky Helmet Chip would be nice. Um, Annihilate doesn't like to see Indeedy either, because then it can't just throw those. They have their own Cresselia and Indeedy to reverse Trick Room. So we could end up just going Ndidi Hatterene and throwing out Expanding Forces. Uh, I believe this Ndidi is also Terra Fairy, so Dark Urshifu, yes it is. So Dark Urshifu doesn't pose a threat if that's what that is. And if it's water, then it's going to take Rocky Helmet. In the back this time. Torkoal goes actually crazy here. Wow. Okay, it's 100% Torkoal. we got to get Trick Room up to use it but then we're going to send Torkoal. And then I think in the last, it's either Gallade or Sarina. But I think I like, hmm. If that is Water Shifu, Sarina's good. Eh, Gallade, Gallade can Oko it too. So that should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna lock in Gallade. This is the Gallade video. So we're bringing Gallade. Whether it gets to do anything or whether the turtle just goes crazy, we'll see. Ooh, that's a pretty Cresselia you got there. I hope you don't bring it. 
Fluttermane and Dark Urshifu. This is 180-10% okay. Unless. Unless, unless, unless. Unless they have Imprison. If they have Imprison, we are ultra mega screwed. But I don't think they would have Imprison. They have a Cresselia and they have their own Indeedee. I don't see why they would try to go for an imprisoned Fluttermane on this kind of team. They have two potential reversers. Three, because Whimsicott gets Trick Room too. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm just going to go Terra, follow me, Trick Room. We have six Trick Rooms, that's funny. Okay. Now, if they have the hard counter and they have Imprison on this weird team to have Imprison on, it's not like you're going so fast that Trick Room will mess you up. Just gonna pop a follow me. Just gonna take a Dazzling Gleam. Okay, that is fine. Takes us both to half. And Wicked Blow. Oh, it picks up Indeedee anyway. Wow. Okay, but that Rocky Helmet chip is awesome. Because that means if you had a Sash, you don't anymore. So what was that damage? I don't think you are Sash. I think you're something much scarier than Sash. All right, we can obviously throw out a Dazzling Gleam with Hatterene. And then next to that, I see no problem with erupting. Yeah, I like it. It's turtle time. All right, the Fluttermane gets a special attack boost. That's not gonna matter because we are just gonna click the Eruption button and the Dazzling Gleam button. And their swapping that lives that is maybe a very specially defensive Cresselia. Oh, a Psychic Seed Cresselia, there we go. If they have a Psychic Seed Cresselia, that swapping could take it. I'll let you do that, go ahead. <clears throat> Nope, Torkoal erupts, and everything is gone. Okay. I guess you didn't have Protect. That might have been a, a Choice Ban, Choice Specs lead. Very aggressive, just trying to stop the Trick Room turn one. And since they didn't get it, they're in a really bad position. Alright. The real question is, how do we get Gallade in here? <laughs> they bring in their Indeedee, and their Annihilate. Okay. They preserved Terra. The Indeedee has a Psychic Seed. Gets the Special Defense boost. We have so much Trick Room left to work with. No choice but to click Eruption. And might as well Expanding Force. I don't think there's a Terra that can handle this. Try whatever you got. What do you got? Uh, fire? Water? Dark? Fire. Yeah, that's not going to save you. Expanding Force is going to take you out. I might not need the Eruption damage. The Indeedee just protects. Okay, it wants to be it wants to be alone on this last turn. We just send an Eruption. Easy as that. Wow, that Annihilate didn't take much damage, actually. That is insane. But, Expanding Force crit. <laughs> I think that was probably going to take it out anyway. But it living that Torkoal Eruption, that's insane. Aren't we Choice Specs? Wow. Wow. That's Max Special Attack Choice Specs. Well, Ape, that's crazy. We're just going to Erupt. And because this is not the last turn of Trick Room, we're gonna bring in Gallade. <clears throat> but they just forfeit anyway. Sorry, Gallade. <laughs> not your battle. All right, here we've got, ooh, very scary team. Chen Pao Dragonite, Entei, Fluttermane, Whimsicott, and Raging Bolt. Uh, I think this is similar to one that won the first Regulation F Regional. Except they had something else over Whimsicott. I can't think of what it was right this minute. Alright, how are we going to get at this? It would be nice to set up Trick Room. 
and shouldn't be that hard to set up Trick Room. Indeed, he has the Rocky Helmet, which could be great for chipping down that Chen Pao. And Hatterene is pretty good at setting Trick Room. Would Gallade be better, since it doesn't rely on the Psychic Terrain? But we also have to consider Psychic Terrain is going down, so I think we bring in Sarina in the back, which I don't think they will expect. And then Torkoal can go crazy. Well, no, Torkoal can't go that crazy here. I think it's a Gallade match. We're gonna bring Gallade and Sarina, if you can believe it. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. Okay. Okay. I do think it's going to be a Chen Pao lead, and they're going to go straight for an Ice Spinner. There's not really much I can do about that. But if Indeedee can survive the first turn, then we can bring it out and back in later. But I think we're just going to have to win this without Psychic Terrain, and that's what Sarina's for. Who's your lead? Chen Pao and Fluttermane. Perfectly fine. Unless you've got a weird imprison on that Fluttermane, then we should be A-OK. -okay. It would be a little bit awkward if they have Throat Chop and try to Oko and Didi with that. But I'm not going to worry about that weird event. Just throw out the follow me. And it is just a nice spinner. And indeed he does go down. They got off their ice spinner, they got rid of our terrain, but we got trick room. I will take that trade. Now, we're throwing Dazzling Gleams. They think they can throw a Sucker Punch. I'm not gonna allow that. I'm gonna bring in Sarina right now. And I'm gonna throw a big Dazzling Gleam, and I'm gonna throw something at that Flutter Main. I guess it needs to be a Power Whip. And just a Dazzling Gleam. They could Terra Ghost their Chen Pao, but they're still going to have trouble taking a Life Orb Dazzling Gleam. So I think this is the right play. Hopefully they just go for Sucker Punch. Yes! You don't know what a Sarina is! She's queenly! She's majestic! Your cat is dead! Ha ha ha! And now we have to hit this power up, we have to hit this power up, we have to hit this power up. Woo! Alright. I like wide lens on my Sarinas, but this one's a salt vest. So I'm gonna be terrified every time I have to click a move. But it worked once. It can work again. And now them just learning what clean, Queenly Majesty is, they don't know what their endgame is now. You got what, Dragonite and Entei in the back? Actually, Entei could probably take these down pretty easily. It is Dragonite. And it's Raging Bolt. Okay, well I'm definitely throwing a Dazzling Gleam, that's for sure. But what's the next move? And we have Gallade in the back. Alright, three total turns of Trick Room left. I think the Dragonite... Hmm. It's Dazzling Gleam and tri Triple Axle. The question is which Triple Axle target. I think I'm more concerned with Dragonite. Yeah, I think the Dragonite is a little bit scarier. The Mons I have left have better special defense. We've got Assault Vest on this arena. We've got Gallade. All right, who are you tearing? It was Bolt. Ooh. Right. Yeah, 
yeah. Yeah, that's that's range. We just need to hit one 90 accurate move. Okay, you see what I said about wide lens? So that's gonna take out Hatterene. And then they're gonna outrage. And then we're gonna lose. Thanks a bunch, Sarina. You missed your triple axel. And you've cost us the game. Now this is not the last turn of Trick Room, so they get a Thunderbolt into a Thunderclap into us. But we're Terra Grass. Oh, that is actually pretty good. I spoke too soon, Sarina. This game isn't actually over. Okay, we Psycho Cut the Dragonite, we Terra Grass. Yes. Okay. There's a chance. There's a chance. Dragonite is outraging. It cannot stop this Psycho Cut. And they're just going for Thunderclap. And that doesn't do nearly enough. Okay, their play now is to protect. And then get out of Trick Room. And then throw a mean Draco Meteor or something. And we just throw swords and hope it's enough. Oh, they live on one! Dragon Pulse does 110 down to 29. Oh, that is too bad. We know for a fact we are slower. Yeah. I guess they could throw and go for a thunderclap, which would let us get up Trick Room. Come on, throw! Throw! Yes, okay! Okay, we are not out of it. We are in a thunderclap mind game. That was their second thunderclap. They've used two. They have no reason now, though, not to thunderclap four times while Trick Room is up. We have four turns to it. We have four turns to attack in Trick Room. If they didn't PP up, they will run out in three. That's our win condition. They didn't PP up, and they go for thunderclaps. Wide guard's the only move we can avoid thunderclap with. All right, that's three thunderclaps. I'm sweating and shaking right now so much. That's another one. Okay, that's four thunderclaps. Two turns of trick room remain. Do they thunderclap here? I might want to go Sacred Sword now. They know how it's ha what's happening here. No, I'm gonna go Wide Yard again. Okay, okay, Gallade, come on. It's another thunderclap. That's five thunderclaps. If they have another thunderclap, they throw it here. If they don't have another thunderclap, we can take them. Either way, this is the last turn of Trick Room. So if they have more thunderclaps, they just throw one here. Wide Guard or Sacred Sword doesn't matter. They'll be faster next turn. So we have to Sacred Sword. All right, did you PP up your moves? They did PP up their moves. All right, good game. Man. All this because you don't got wide lens on Sarina. 90% <laughs> of the time, that's our game, but sometimes that's how it shakes out. Let's move on. Alrighty, this time we've got 
an Excadrill, Tornadus Tyranitar, Chen Pao Dragonite, and Water Ogre Pondine. Tyranitar Excadrill is actually pretty scary. Indeedy and Sarina can stop priority, but they can't stop Rock Slide flinches. Nothing here actually can take a Rock Slide flinch. So if they just double Rock Slide, which might be their best play, we would be in a little bit of trouble. I still think the play is Indeedy, but is it Gallade or Hatterene? Gallade is 116, 100. This Hatterene is 164, 115. Hatterene can take the rock slides a lot better. So we're gonna go with Hatterene. And we're gonna say good luck. Do we want a Sarina in the back? Sarina seems pretty good here against every single one of those Pokemon. Except Tornadus, but would they really bring Tornadus? So Sarina it is. We're gonna get you your redemption, Sarina. And then Torkoal doesn't seem that great. King Gambit seems pretty good, but there's also Gallade. Gallade can hit all of those really hard. I'm gonna go Gallade. Here we go. Five seconds left and they haven't locked in? Oh, they're scared. Maybe their Excadrill doesn't have Rock Slide and they can't throw double Rock Slides. Maybe they're just gonna go the Chen Pao route. I don't know. Maybe they're absolutely crazy and have, like, Snarl Tyranitar. Okay, they are going the Chen Pao route. Chen Pao and Water Ogre Pond. Okay. Well then. Is it okay to give them... Yeah, Expanding Force was never really what was doing all of our damage anyway. So I think it's fine to just follow me in Trick Room. We'll lose the terrain, but that's okay. And with Fire Terra, there's not really a way around Ice Spinner and Ivy Cudgel. And they're just terrestrializing right away. Oh, they're going for death. Wow. Okay. You don't think I'm attacking turn one, do you? You're really supposed to follow me. I just want to break your Chen Pao Sash. And yep, you do have Ice Spinner. That one did a lot more than last time. I think you're adamant. No, you're Life Orb! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! And then just an Ivy Cudgel. I think you wasted your Terra there. I guess it'll be good to have later, but... Alright, Serena. It's time for your redemption. Sweep them. Super easy to just go Power Whip here and Dazzling Gleam. Their swap in to Power Whip is Dragonite, but that can't take a Dazzling Gleam. Their swap in to Dazzling Gleam is Excadrill, but that doesn't take Dazzling Gleam that well anyway. And since it's Power Whip, which... Does Power Whip make contact? I don't know and I don't care. If we have to take a little bit of chip, that's fine. Oh, and they don't protect their Chen Pao at all. Okay. Fine by me. Who did you want to bring in that badly? Power Whip gets blocked. And I want to see if this is a contact move. It is. Okay, I don't know why I thought that wasn't a contact move. Someone the Arrogant. Excadrill the Arrogant. Okay. I get it. I get it. I can throw the Power Whip. I could protect Hatterene. Or... 
Does this mean you have Tyranitar in the back? If I keep pressuring with Dazzling Gleam, they can't swap in Dragonite to the Power Whip. Is Terra Grass valuable to me? It definitely is. So I don't want to pop it on Hatterene. I think it's time for Hatterene to go down and make room. So we're Dazzling Gleaming and we're Power Whipping. No, they just protect. Okay. Then 85% of the time, you don't have an Ogre Pond left. More Life Orb Recoil, it's okay. And Power Whip connects. All right, Ogre Pond, you're gone. Thank you for not missing, Sarina. I may ask one more hit of you. Now what they're doing here is they're alternating their protects from each side. I prefer when I'm fighting Trick Room to protect both Mons on the same turn. Ooh, they have a Tyranitar, but they do not have Terra. And we have two whole turns of Trick Room left. Okay, that's a free low kick into that Tyranitar. And I guess Expanding Force would do more to Excadrill. Yeah. Is there any chance Sarvanatar lives a low kick? I guess if Sarvina has no attack investment. No, it's max attack. Yeah, that's going down. Then yeah, I'll just Expanding Force at the Excadrill do a little damage. Potentially break a Sash. That was actually pretty good damage, too. Low kick. Goodbye. <laughs> Sarina, you are redeeming yourself. Thank you. And then, oh, it's just a rock slide. Wow, we took that comfortably. Now, I think it's fine. Yeah, just to low kick. It's the last turn of Trick Room. They're obviously going to protect. I'm trying to see if there's anything sneaky I can do. Yeah. I'll just low kick and I'll... Oh, battle was canceled. GG's. All right, and here we are back with the rental. Thank you so much, Omicron. This team was so fun. Uh, I loved getting Gallade in there, even though he didn't do much. Sarina, Sarina killed it in that last match. And even that one match we lost, it wasn't so bad. Triple Axel miss, and then we just couldn't win with the Thunderclap mind games. But it's all right. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this team, there's the rental in the top right corner. Go ahead and try it. It's very click buttonsy. I think you'll like it. So anyway, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.